From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top story is the latest coronavirus numbers are cause for concern. 69 cases on Thursday, another 62 on Friday, and 100 cases reported for Saturday, the highest single-day total since October last year. The majority of those cases in the capital, including more than 80 of Saturdays, Ron Bahama, Eleuthera, Abaco, and Exuma, among the other islands, reporting cases for the period. Now, the hospital numbers are going up dramatically. There are now 75 persons in hospital being treated, 13 persons in the ICU. There are more than 1,000 active cases out there now. Former Health Minister Dr. Sands, among those expressing concern about the latest numbers, he says the country is not in a good place right now. He worries for staff, but is not recommending an extension of the emergency orders. He believes legislation should be passed by Parliament to govern behavior. No announcement yet from the government on what it intends to do about those emergency orders, right now scheduled to end the middle of next month. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. There's a dramatic increase in the coronavirus death toll. Ministry of Health officials reporting 17 new confirmed deaths in the latest report, taking the total to 273 now. And if you need a reason to get vaccinated, listen to infectious disease specialist Dr. Nakia Forbes. I can share with you that the data we have is that persons who did get hospitalized, more than 98% of them were unvaccinated. There were a few patients that had one dose of the vaccine, very small number, and there has been nobody who's been fully vaccinated at our, at our site that has been hospitalized or died. The government is waiting for more vaccine to arrive, right now only giving second doses. PLP leader Davis says all the signs are there. He believes the prime minister could announce the date for the next elections as early as this week. Current Pine Ridge MP Michael Pine is not backing down or out after not getting a nomination from the FNM. He says he's going to run as an independent. Police in Grand Bahama looking into the stabbing of two juvenile girls in the 8-mile rock area during what appears to be a dispute between a group of them. The girls are being treated for their wounds. Here in the capital, police are waiting for the autopsy report to determine how a man who collapsed while jogging in the Winton Meadows area died. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune track you weather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area. Partly sunny, pop-up showers, highs in the upper 80s. 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Next time is a low around 10 this morning. Next high about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Monday's World News headlines, close to 200 persons are confirmed dead and hundreds more are missing following massive flooding in western Germany and Belgium caused by heavy rain in the area. Officials say they do not expect to find any of the missing alive. German Chancellor Merkel has visited the area and described it as surreal and has vowed to take action on climate change. The wife of assassinated Haitian President Moise has been released from hospital in Florida now. She has returned to Haiti to an uncertain future. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week, no changes. Shell 509, SO 507, 
Rubus, $5.01 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section, the countdown to the Olympics. It continues. Tribune's profile featuring Donisha Anderson this morning. The games begin July 23rd. They have COVID-related issues. Read about it in the Tribune Sports. Backs against the wall, DeAndre Ayton and the Suns preparing for Game 6 of the NBA Finals tomorrow night in Milwaukee. They have to win. Well, the Bucks will take it all. Get the latest on Jazz Chisholm and the Marlins in Philadelphia in Major League Baseball. He has another injury. I get the latest scores. Local baseball updates on Freedom Farm and the Ed Armbruster Summer Camp in the Tribune Sports Monday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.